Back when the earth was new, how we say in our history, in our culture, our traditions, we talk about how Creator, He planted trees and bushes and grasses all over this world to help benefit the man beings, the people. One of those things that he planted was the maple tree, which we call Hawatta. And in that maple tree, he gave us some medicine. And that medicine would, be, would become very useful during the times of leaving winter and entering spring. And how we're taught is that during those long winters, when food becomes scarce and our bodies began to weaken, that we could hope and pray that when that maple sap returns we can collect that sap to nourish our bodies and give us strength and a promise of a new beginning a new a new year we have a historical record that said our people were moved here in 1830s and through the 1840s prior to civil war our folks were collecting and boiling and making maple sugar and we have the Senecas of Sandusky, the Senecas and Shawnees of Lewistown, the Wyandots. We all gathered that sap here at Indian Territory. The records show oftentimes they were making 200, 300 pounds of sugar each year. And we know by experience now that that would be a lot of trees, a lot of sap gathering, and a lot of wood and fuel burning to boil that sap to make that much sugar. And we also know through our history that that eventually was laid aside. So after the Civil War, we have no more record of them doing the sap collecting. But we do have stories with tribal families. And in those stories, they talk about gathering that sap and boiling that sap for syrup and sugar for their personal use. It was no longer a community event. As time passed, that knowledge began to be forgotten. And oftentimes we talk to elders today and young folks today and they didn't realize that our folks actually collected sap in the winter and the spring. They didn't know or understand or have knowledge of boiling that sap to make the syrup or sugar. But yet, during our ceremonies, which we did maintain that ceremonial calendar. In each of our speeches, we always make mention of those trees and bushes. We always make mention of Gowanda Gowani Hawata, that leader of the trees, the maple. So we never really lost that knowledge. We just forgot the processes. And when we were, the tribes were making an effort to create and establish cultural preservation offices. It gave us the opportunity to seek out those maple trees that did grow here. And with that opportunity came the learning and talking about what those processes were, how that happened. And we talked to our friends and relatives from up north at Six Nations, talking about how they collected the sap and they continued to put the sap in the trees with the ceremonies and make that maple syrup and sugar even the maple candy for the little ones and the young at heart putting those things together and keeping those traditions going so with that bit of knowledge and with our eagerness to learn and understand and talking to our elders and our aunties here in Indian territory we decide to give it a try our first attempts, we weren't real sure, but we were going to push through and do the best that we can. And when we did that, we did gather sap and we did get it boiled down to make syrup. And that first time we did that, that sap was, was very sweet tasting. It was a new experience for all of us. We would taste that right from the tree, and give our thanks, thank those trees, and thank our Creator for giving us this gift. We say, 
we put our minds together and recognize and say thanks. Of skayat di song, of one mind, we say thank you. And this is a story of our maple ceremony and our maple collecting. Yahweh.